To enter an array of cells, what you want to do is select the area where you want your array of cells to go. Um, let's just say it's this area here. And what I want this to be is uh, all filled with the number 12. So I'll enter 12. And instead of just hitting enter, so if I just hit enter, then the number 12 just goes in that current cell. And I can just continue putting numbers in here and hit enter, and it'll go through all the different selections that I have. So that's not really what I want. What I want to do for an array, if I want to enter an array, is let's say I want to put 12 in each of those cells, then I'll hold control shift and then hit enter. So then now that will enter 12 into each one of these cells here in this array. Okay. So arrays are used in other places in Excel. And another example of that is let's say that I have one, two, three in these cells here. And I want to create an array over here that basically mirrors this. So what I'll do is now enter um, equals and then select this area of cells. And again, instead of hitting enter, I'll hit control shift, enter. And now you can see when I click on, on this, any part of this array here, so this whole thing is now an array. Um, what it shows you up in, up in this formula bar is these curly brackets and then equals D4 through D6 and that shows you what what this array actually is. Um, so an array is a different object than you know a block of cell entries. Okay, The way you can tell that is if I try to delete this just one cell will say oh you can't change part of an array because Excel looks at this whole thing as one object. Um, Another way you might want to use an array is with the transpose function. So we're not going to cover this in depth right now, but for transpose, you're basically um, turning something on its side. So if I want to transpose one, two, three into um, a row format instead of the column format that it's in, I'll enter equals transpose and then select the cells I want to transpose. And again, instead of hitting just enter, I hit control shift, enter. And now I've transposed this into an array of one, two, three in this in this row over here. Mm -hmm.